cyclone Vayu is intensifying substantially at this time and is now up to a Category 3 on the Sapphire Simpson scale with winds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure of 944, our estimate at this time. The storm is un un uncomfortably close to the coast of Gujarat in India. On the CDPS scale, it might be a little bit misleading at this time because the CDPS only probably works when we're expecting a landfall, but now we're expecting the storm to move away from land and start to turn out to sea. So it only says stage two here, but we could still be seeing very significant rainfall and strong winds along that coastal region, which is already under tropical storm under the tropical storm force wind field as you can see on this graphic it's at 20.8 north 69 degrees east as of 9 30 pm this june 13th just 71 miles from porbandar 107 from junagat 133 from jamnagar 155 from rajkot and 307 from karachi thankfully the hurricane force winds and indeed the destructive hurricane force winds are well offshore and hopefully that will continue to be the case if it continues moving northwest as it has been doing. Tropical storm conditions are possible in any of those yellow areas there in the next 48 hours, which extends pretty much to the border with Pakistan now. So this is what the GFS is saying uh, looking at the rainfall. A little change to this graphic now that the GFS is upgraded. We're now showing the accumulated rainfall. So you're seeing a very big blob there, we have to change the colour scheme for it all. But you can see where the storm is tracking out towards the west according to that GFS run there. And you can see the rainfall accumulations getting very high along the western coastal region of India. Not so much the Gujarat Peninsula but uh, further towards the south, not really in full association with the storm. The storm itself is going to move out to sea slowly, that's what we're thinking is going to happen. Model consensus is just about on board with that now and then possibly curving back towards India as a very much weakened system, barely a system at all according to the GFS. Sea surface temperatures are very warm around 30 degrees Celsius and here's now a look at the wind field you can see uh, exactly what happens here. So the storm moves out towards the west very slowly, the tropical storm force winds leave India by Friday evening probably and then by the weekend the storm is out, uh, it really tears itself apart and then it goes straight back into India as a very weak system, barely a storm at all even if it is one by then. We're probably looking Sunday or Monday by the time it reaches land and then moving inland. That's just one model solution. Some models continue to take the storm towards the Arabian Peninsula, struggling to get there. Um, and really we're not looking at any of the models taking it into land now at full strength, which is good news. Still, 80% chance of tropical storm force winds in Porbandar and 60% in Rajkot, only 2% chance in Karachi. So looking at what some of the other models are saying here, you can see the HWRF wants the storm still to peak in two days time as it stalls off the coast of uh, western India. Um, wind shear is going to go through the roof though by then, so it's really biggest chance of intensification is right now. Sea surface temperatures, 29 degrees, a little bit lower than what it used to be. And you can see on the left hand side there that panel, uh, the models in a complete tiz over what exactly is going to happen with this storm. But general consensus now is it's going to move towards the west and then turn around and then come back into India as a much weaker system. So that was some visible imagery there. You can see how the storm's been developing. The eye's really been appearing in those latest frames. Possibly multiple eye walls. Not sure about what we're looking at here. Maybe we had an eye wall replacement cycle earlier on today when it was, wasn't looking so well. But the eye really popping out in those latest frames is something we're going to be watching very closely. If it does really fire up now, it could strengthen even further towards Category 4 status. And that's very uncomfortable for those on that coastline there. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description. <laughs>